How do you do and welcome to Slay the Spire, where we can slay the spire's heart, I think is how it goes. I'm not quite exactly sure how this works. New challenges available once a day, complete with other players for the highest score, or compete with other players for the high score. Still not gonna do that yet. We're gonna do a standard list. If you watched last video, we played as the old silent and we won first game ever with the silent and we won which i mean i am baffled i'm kind of afraid whenever we get into ascension uh because i was talking with a buddy of mine and he said the silent was his hardest one to get through the ascensions i think uh whatever levels however many levels it is whatever the final ascension level he said the silent was his hardest one ironclad it took me a little bit but i think we figured it out and what kind of scares me with only playing the silent once and winning is because we're moving on we're going to be doing the defect here so it kind of limits our chances of really familiarizing us with play styles with them but it is what it is maybe i just got extremely lucky i think i did get extremely lucky but let's go with the defect 75 75 so five more health than the silent starts with 99 gold a combat automation which becomes self-aware ancient technology allows the manipulation of orbs cracked core at the start of each combat channel one lightning five unlocks remaining wait four unlocks remaining. oh i still have to level that up to level five right no how do i what do you see the level of them because isn't there supposed to be like levels not quite sure all right let's get the defect going let's see what we can do with them a wide athletic stance hello again reach the boss to receive more blessings enemies in your next three combat have one hp let's do that i think that's what i ran last time too and I think I sped ran, speed ran all the way to an elite, but I don't think we're going to speed run to an elite this time. That's unfortunate. My strategy failed me. But let's see. Up, up, up. There's a lot of elites in this fight. If I go left, I'll fight a ton of elites. So I think I can hit you, question mark, question mark. Hopefully no fight, no fight, fight. Level one, level one, no fight, no fight, and then level one, uh, one HP. You think I can do it? <laughs> if any of these question marks are fights, we're screwed. Channel one lightning, channeling an orb puts it into your first empty slot. If you have no empty slots, your first orb is automatically revoked to make room. Guess I'll channel one lightning. Deal six damage and defend. Oh, that's not bad. So it's an automatic three damage to everything. Uh, deal three damage, apply one vulnerable. That's free. You know how much I like free. Evoke your next orb, channel the orb that it was evoked. I don't know. Uh. Okay, this guy is quite complicated, I think. With these orbs that's going on. If this is a fight. Okay, good. Add totem. Become cursed with injured because I can get rid of that curse. We'll take this. Don't be a fight. Perfect. We're on point. Heal, max health, obtain a relic, get cursed with regret. What's this relic? Enemies drop, more gold. We'll get cursed again. Uh, whenever an enemy dies, gain blank and draw one card. I assume that's uh, energy, their version of energy. Yeah. We'll add a zap. Evoke your next orb twice. I don't. What does it mean? Like trigger it twice? Is that what evoke means? Trigger? I guess that is what it means. Fear potion. I'll take any potion. Channel one dark. 
channeling an orb puts it I don't know, ooh, increases damage every turn when evoke deal damage to the enemy with the least HP game block equal to the number of cards in your discard pile oh that's pretty cool steam barrier gain six box decrease the, this cards block by one this combat I think we'll take the stack come on no fight then we're on track <gasps> Our plan works. <laughs> Upgrade two random cards. I'll take two random card upgrades for sure. We'll go on in here. Uh, we'll just blacksmith it since... Uh, make Zap free. Is Zap one of our standard cards? Yeah, it is. Evoke the next... Makes you a free card. Are you a free card now? No. Cards in your discard pile plus three. Actually, that's pretty good too, but I think we'll make you a free one because you're just a good base damage. And then check this out. Level ones across the board. Oh, so great. Oh. <laughs> that starting relic is just so good to have pawn pick up raise your max health by seven. Oh shoot that just nullifies the fact that we picked up this bad boy that is oh so remarkable shuffle all your cards into your draw pile draw four cards go for the eye deal three damage to an enemy intends to attack intends to attack apply one weak Capacitor is actually pretty nice. I think I'm going Capacitor here. Uh, blacksmith, and then I think I want to... Three orb slots. I think we'll do Zap. Make it free. I don't really have more orbs to put in, though. Horn chest at the start of your second turn, gain 14 block. Okay. Okay. This seems very nice. I don't know if, uh. We'll go ahead and strike. We'll block. Well, now I have no orbs. Kya kya! Okay, so now I have no orbs. Oh, I need some energy cards. Or not energy cards, but cards that will give me block. Boom, there we go. And then I can just block myself, strike you, and then you're dead with the zap. Skill potion, it's fine. Rip and tear, deal seven damage to a random enemy twice. Uh, deal six damage to all enemies, draw a card. I think that one's better. We aren't doing too shabby, I don't think. If you were to ask me, we'll block. Well, we kind of have to just do damage now. And you're not exhausted, but I'll gain two block. And I just put you in my, I guess we'll gain two more block, I guess. We'll take a little bit of damage here. That's okay. That's okay. Um, apply for vulnerable. Channel lightning. Gain two orb slots, which I think is kind of pointless for now. 
Okay, now we're doing a little bit less damage. Block, block. Evoke your next orb twice. But that like gets rid of my orb. Consumes the righteous orb and uses use its evoke effect. Well, that does not sound great because I don't want to consume it, right? Because the more I have out here, the better it is. Maybe if it's like a last ditch effort to take something out, maybe it makes sense to do it. Yeah, look at that. Did we just take some damage? Beam. Deal four damage. Do vulnerable. Channel lightning. Strike. We are taking damage, but actually. Boom. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Whenever you play a power card, draw, draw one card, deal six damage to all enemies, draw a card. I guess we'll have two of you. I think we'll heal this time. Proceed. We'll take the question mark before an elite fight. Start each combat with three thorns. Ah, that's not bad. Now we'll go into an elite fight right before the final boss fight, which is kind of scary. But we'll channel some lightning. Gain two orb slots. Gain block. I don't think I want to use dual cast yet. What is that? Whenever you play skill, gain two strength. Whenever you play skill, gains two strength. Avoiding skill cards for the time being. We had just the same amount of shield. Oh, we're gonna have to do some skill cards. We'll take eight damage from you, which is fine for now. We don't want to lose too much health. I can dual cast you. And then strike you dead. Perfect. Heal every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. It's not bad. They really want me to get this steam barrier, but deal six damage, channel one frost. At the start of your turn, add a random common card into your hand. I think I'd rather have Cold Snap, right? Because that will... And then we'll heal before the final boss. So now we're maxed health going into the final. Because now I can have Frost added. We'll add another Zap. We'll hit you once block just in case you're doing something cheeky to us you know i should probably remember what these guys do Fourteen, seven, six times we're gonna lose so much health here uh i think we're gonna Strike and then shield. 
Dual cast, no thank you. 23. Oh man, <laughs> that was probably the best case scenario for us. Perfect. I do like having this frost one with some shield. That's a better de uh, defend. And we'll gain our block again. 10, so we'll take 10 damage here. Team cell, zap, and a strike. We'll have at least three shield, two shield, I guess. Uh, I guess we can have you back in there. Yeah, we don't have that much damage, unfortunately. We kind of have passive damage. This shield here is going to suck a little bit. But, ooh. Zap's kind of pointless now, but what happens? Oh, it just rotates in. Okay. I think we'll take a block. We'll do you. And we'll take another block. Oh, we're taking so much damage. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this is where all of our damage is coming from, so I don't want to get rid of it for a frost. So what if I just do all this damage here? Perfect, enough block is done where we're not losing any health here. Getting a lot of unplayable cards. Deal four damage, invulnerable. Strike them. Block it. I can try evoking. Okay, as long as we survive this. Yep, there it goes. Oh man, fear potion, I'll take it. Add a card, put one card from your draw pile into your hand. Reboot, shuffle all your cards, exhaust. Remove all your orbs, gain one energy and draw one card from for each orb removed. That doesn't seem good either. Gain energy and draw. That's not bad, actually, because I can just re up. If we can get enough energy cards or uh, orb cards, we should be fine. Every two turns, gain one orb slot. Well, I don't have enough orb cards to fill those orb slots. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You gain. You can no longer gain gold. Replace cracked court. If you end your turn with any empty orb slots, gain one frost. Let's just do inserter. Maybe uh, we'll gain some orb cards. I don't know that we will because I don't know really how to do that. Um, where do I want to start? We got 410, so maybe if we can hit a shop. Yeah, I think hitting a shop into a fight, I mean, into a rest, into an elite, into a rest. It's kind of a good combo there. I think that is a good pathing. Hello, good sir. My name is the defect. Actually, my name is just Cam. 
You can call me Cam. Oh, block some of that damage you're doing to me. Just half of it. I'll take five. That's okay. You heal every time, it appears. Now, if I do this again, do I get an energy? No. Okay, good thing I didn't use you. 12, 24, so dang it. I mean, 6, 12. We're fine. I don't know why I was thinking it was 12, 20, like 2 of times 12. Uh, we can gain block. I guess we can gain more capacitors. I don't know if that's necessarily going to be helpful for us. Not shabby. Um, I don't, I don't think those are going to help us here. So this is kind of a slow fight slow methodical fighting style which isn't necessarily my strong suit I do have to say we'll just ensure our safety because all we have to do if we we can tank through so maybe I just work on getting shields and then using these as ways to uh, stay alive Well, here we're going to take some damage because I have no shields. Ah, actually, we just took him out. Huh. Tempest 2 actually is pretty cool. Deal 5 damage, increase the damage of all claw cards by 2. Oh, no, that's kind of useless. Deal 4 damage, apply 2 vulnerable. Channel, channel an orb, puts it into your first empty slot. If you have no empty slots, your first orb is automatically evoked to make a room. I, I think that might be something interesting. I think we'll take the fight since there's a question mark above. Uh, zap. Might as well get that filled in. Yeah, maybe we zap here. Well, he's not doing anything so we'll just do this and do his oh shoot you have so much health I kind of forgot I don't know how we're gonna tank through all that or do enough damage to get through all that we have no damage dealing here Well, that's interesting. That is interesting how that works. I did not know how that worked. So we're losing 20 health. Just out of my... Uh... That would be interesting. Remove all orbs, gain energy, and draw one card for each orb removed. But I think we'll end the fight here. Colorless potion. Choose one of three random colorless cards to add. Do I have two of these fear? Yeah. This card. Deals, deals four damage for each channeled orb.
channeling an orb puts it into your first empty slot. If you have no empty slots, your first... I don't know what that does. But it said orb, so it might have something to do with them. Uh, obtain a relic, offer... You know, offer gold and gain a relic. If you end your turn without block, gain six block. I don't know if it's possible for me to end my turn without block. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal 10 damage to all enemies. Exhaust up to three cards in your hand. We'll take you. We'll probably just discard something. Injure. Boom. We'll proceed with caution. An odd creature's hunchback sprouts several tentacles, is grounding through a pile of trash from in front of you as you approach, shovels towards you in a non threatening manner. Hungry, no feed. Uh, offer. Is that one of my relics? Or is that a card? Lose strawberry? Lose this relic? Ornament fan? Every time you play three attacks in a single game. Okay, yeah, I'll lose that one. Holding the relic out towards him. Triple the chance of finding rare cards from you. I mean, I say you, but that's probably not bad. We'll heal since we're going into an elite fight. We're not maxed health, but. Ugh, you. I think I want to take you out, is the goal here. Get him, boys. Add another zap. Every time you play five cards in turn. Is that not five turns? I thought that was five cards in my turn. Dang. Well, this sucks. I'm gonna take a lot of health here, too. I think this might be old GG for me. 1224 damage. Dang. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I did that one well or not. But it was a good, uh, good attempt, I think. What? Floors climbed, 120 enemies slain, 12? 6? So I got 12 points. I only killed 6 enemies. Interesting. This guy's a little interesting. 
but uh thank you for tuning in and i look forward to seeing uh how we do in the next one bye